Hi there, all who are interested in this sort of thing. Uh, this sort of thing today is uh, the arrival of the latest addition to my Chris Reeve uh, knife collection, um, Chris Reeve uh, Sakayo. I don't know if that can focus up so close, um, but uh, this is the uh, first time I'm taking this out of the box. I ordered it along with another couple of things, so... Um, the postage box uh, has been opened. I took everything out, but the things that I'm going to unbox uh, individually, um, that's just my invoice or my receipt. Um, the uh, the um, uh, actual knives in the boxes I have not uh, seen or held. Um, I'm not a knife reviewer. I kind of just record the growing uh, collection of uh, my different collections, coins, pens, uh, fountain pens, uh, knives, books. Um, lately, um, since I started the YouTube channel, um, it's been mostly knives, um, but, uh, with time that will, that will develop anyway. Um, so, uh, as I've mentioned in my other knife collecting, um, knife collection videos is that there is no knife store where I can buy, uh, or try Chris Reeve knives in my city. So every Chris Reeve I've ever touched has been one that I own. And the first time that I ever, uh, hold one or touch a different model is when I receive one in the mail from where when I order it um, so this uh, came from a Canadian dealer um, this is a discontinued knife so uh, uh, I kind of uh, wanted one um, just to to have one but also uh, I don't have a really good kitchen knife I just have cheapo ones that uh they do the job fine but um i'm gonna see what it's like to have a nice one um so uh let's just see i i have one other chris reeve fixed blade and that's uh the nyala which is also discontinued um as a matter of fact uh all i think i own um I, let's see i think i own five different models of Chris Reeve knives or six and only one of them is actually currently in production or will be at the end of this month this is near the end of February 2020 and the Sabenza 21 production is winding down in the next week or so um, they're supposed to have all the Sabenza 21s done by the end of February and then it'll be um, just the 31 so I have a 31 and that'll be um, the only currently in production, uh, Chris Reeve knife that I own, um, uh, after another week goes by, um, I have the Nyala, which is discontinued. Um, I have, the, although they are still, they, they, they are still going to be available for a while because, um, Tim Reeve, um, put out a video a few weeks ago, um, about, um, a bunch of different things, mainly about the uh, Sabenza 31 and the new stop pin. Um, but he also sort of gave a little bit of an update on what Chris Reeve Knives um, is up to. And they have uh, a bunch of blanks for the Nayala, so they will be um, exhausting their stocks. And so he said, keep an eye out at dealers. There will be more of these um, as they go through the final production, but they're no longer available for order on the Chris Reeve website. Um, so I have the Nyala, which is, which is discontinued. I have the Tie Lock, which is discontinued. I have the Sabenza 25, also discontinued. Um, and the, uh, of course, the Sabenza 21. And I have a few of those, and those are also discontinued. So, um, yeah, so after this one, um, at least uh, I think the stuff I'll be ordering in the future will be currently in, still currently in production. Um, so let's see what's in the box. So the fixed knife, uh, six fixed blade knives from Chris Reeve come in, um, uh, unlike the, the, um, 
the uh, folders which come in, uh, well, I have one handy, uh, which come in a printed box. Um, they come in plain box with um, the branding all done with um, stickers. Um, and this is the way the folders used to come. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what we get is a warranty card, um, the current uh, version or uh, with the, the uh, dark blue uh, backing. Chris Reeve sticker is also the most recent uh, version. Um, the guarantee and birth card. Um, so this is a bit older, uh, October 8th, 2018. Um, so this is being February 2020. Um, this has been on the shelf for a while. Um, but I don't know if uh, the Chris Reeve kitchen uh, line is as popular as their fixed blades and folders. Um, and then here is the, um, the, um, the statistics, the data card, the information card. Sorry, that's the word I was trying to find. Um, and it, uh, gives a description of, uh, um, the knife and also the um, materials it's made from as well as a little bit about how to carry uh, to care for it um, yeah so I'll give that a detailed look later um, so this is uh, this is new oh this is a nice packing I haven't seen this before um, the actual foam is cut to fit the knife um, Let's say, warning, do not place knife in packaging without securing the handle hole properly over the peg, uh, ensuring the knife is made immobile with foam inserts. Failure to follow the proper packing procedure may result in damage to package by knife and cause very severe injury. Okay, uh, we'll be careful. Um, wow, look at that. Um, and that's it. I'm, I'm assuming that's just foam. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm um, very securely packed. Um, let me just wipe the blade off. It's got some styrofoam or foam on it. Uh, pardon me when it drops out of the picture. And I don't want to cut myself the first thing I do with it. Um, but, um, yeah, I think, um, I mean, I'm glad I got the six and a half inch. They, they were out of the, uh, the longer blade, which is the nine inch. But, I mean, this is, this is good enough for me and my cutting board. Um, so, interestingly... Uh, the name Sakayo, it sounds Japanese, and um, apparently Chris Reeve, when he designed kitchen knives, he he did research on Japanese knives and and sushi uh, knives. But um, the the actual word Sakayo is um, holding with Chris Reeve knives tradition using Zulu, and Sakayo is the Zulu word for sharp. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to be very careful. Um, I'm going to I'm trying to hold it. Um, with the sharp edge down as far as the video orientation goes, but naturally in my hand, it should be pointing away from me. Um, so the blade material is the same as um, Chris Reeve uses for all their production knives, the, um, uh, the, uh, aside from the Damascus bladed knives, but the, the all their folders and, and fixed blades is the S35VN. Um, you could see on the side of the box was the uh, crucible powder metallurgy, um, or sorry, uh, yeah, CPM, uh, uh, crucible, uh, performance materials, um, uh, logo. Um, but that was the steel produced or in which Chris Reeve had a hand in designing, um, for his, uh, specific desires for, um, hardness uh um when heat treated as well as sharpenability um and toughness um the handles on the sakayo i w i did a little bit of research because i mean I, I don't i have a degree in material science and metallurgy but um, these are all um, new to me but this is called ultem 1000 it's a resin a polymer resin and it's uh basically got a very high uh, heat resistance it's good to over 215 i think 217 degrees celsius um 
uh, and it'll remain stable. It's high strength uh, uh, resin. Uh, it's got a high um, elastic modulus, which means basically it can take uh, impact without being deformed um, up to a high temperature. So if you're around hot food, using it in your kitchen and you drop it or bang it, you're not gonna dent it or, or stretch it or, or um, deform it uh, basically. And it also has chemical resistant up to, chemical resistance up to high temperatures as well so ideally suited for kitchen use and the thing i look for like uh, every chris reeve knife has the chris reeve logo um but on the sakayo it's hidden underneath the handle material and it's embedded there i don't know i hope this is uh focusing to see but there it is it's in the resin and i didn't here's something i didn't realize um but you can see my finger through the resin i wasn't aware of that i thought that this knife was solid tang that the tang was solid all the way back um not that the resin was um fastened to the resin on the other side so it is transparent there that's kind of cool so the re the logo is in the resin i thought it was somehow stamped in the metal and then uh the handles were were screwed on th through the handle or through the metal and you could see the the logo on the metal but it's in the it's in the actual resin um cool so then you the, they do come in left and right handed versions so i'm right handed and the the piece towards your palm is thicker uh which is obvious uh um which of course when you look online at the 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 photos uh online they, they usually show the knife lying down so you don't notice that the the palm side is thicker and actually i see why that that uh, does fit really well in the hand and the other thing that's interesting is that um unlike a lot of knives um kitchen knives or um the chris reeve um folders is it's a uh, single-sided grind. So this side of the blade is completely flat um, and it's only polished on, or sorry, only um, sharpened on one side. Um, so that's uh, um, probably easier to maintain, but also probably very well suited for cutting vegetables and meat and things like that in the kitchen. And also the, the, um, curved shape of it uh is good because you can rock it now i'm no professional chef or professional cook i enjoy cooking but um this is going to be a pleasure compared to some of the to the cheapo knife i have right now it's the one i have now is a flat uh flat blade there's no curve to it whatsoever so this is going to be um a pleasure um yeah and one thing i notice um and I think with the nine inch version, if you look at photos of it online, uh, probably I'll quite likely never own one, but it's quite uh, quite a bit longer. Um, and it's a, but a lot narrower, but this one, it evokes in my mind, um, is the the shape of the Insingo blade a little bit. Um, there's the, the Nyala with the Insingo. Um, I mean, it's got, uh, you know, a curve, I, I, there, there is a similarity in the shape. I mean, this one's got a, a, a bit more of an upswing towards the, the tip of the blade, but um, it does remind me of that a bit. And I'll bring out my favorite uh, is my small... Oh, you can see the gunk from the package I just opened with this in it. Um, but yeah, the Insingo um, Small 21, again, there's, a, there's definitely a resemblance in the blades, aside from being made of the same steel. So, so that's uh, the latest uh, Chris Reeve in my collection, and um, I don't think I'm going to put it back in the box. I think I'm going to go and put it in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to need some sort of block or something to keep that in, because I don't know if I'm going to just keep that in my my dish rack or what. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to ding up the blade just by sitting it, having it sit around out on the counter or in the in the shelf. So I'm going to have to look into how I'm going to store that. Anyway, uh, not the usual, um, type of knife. I'm, I'm more into the folders, but, um, thought I would do a video because it is a Chris Reeve and technically part of my collection. Hopefully that was interesting. So long for now. Hey, it's me back again with the Sakayo. Uh, 
I always forget to do this at the, and then I have to tack on a little bit of extra at the end of the video, but I forgot to do the paper cutting test. Look at that, <laughs> right out of the box. Um, that's one sharp knife. I guess that's why, the, uh, and I read the little card that came with it um, uh, between uh, when I filmed the, the main video and this little one, but um, you know, the, the card says the reason they went with the chisel grind or one-sided grind is that it's razor sharp. And um, yeah, that's definitely uh, sharper than any other Chris Reeve uh, I've had out of the box. Uh, just incredible. So um, if you were waiting for the slicing bit, <laughs> I am sorry, I always forget. Uh, it's only after I turn off the, the camera and then realize I have a... a a grocery receipt sitting there waiting to be cut. Uh, anyway, um, that's the extra bit and this, the sharpness of the knife. Really impressive, really impressive. Cheers.